My name is Miguel Matos, based in Brooklyn, New York. What made me decide to join Bookmark TV? I was referred to by, I forget the woman's name, but I, I was, you know, thankful for her. I'm, I'm going to look her up because, you know, this is a, a good program and I, got, I have to thank her for that. It was the way Christine delivered uh, her testimony in regards to booking um, shows. And it seemed genuine, you know, it seemed real, and it seems like it was a, a, a proven, a tested, proven method that she had. So it drew my curiosity. And I said, you know what, let me be a part of this um, program. And so that's when I joined. I said, okay, I was right, you know, and I was going through the modules. I'm still going through the module because I was in the process of doing like two or three films which I am, in, in fact, I'm currently filming another one, but I got over module one and I saw a lot of stuff that um, that she put out and I enjoy, like, she puts out visuals, you know, so um, how you approach the uh, uh, audition process and not too many programs can do it like that. And you can see that this was crafted and she she took her time putting this program together and it's, it's uh, I think it's something that is um, beneficial for even seasoned actors. And, um, and those that are just starting out. Because uh, there were things that I, I thought you couldn't do in the audition process, you know? And she made it clear that you can't, you know? And I always had a creative mind, but I always want to play by the rules because it's a, a, a business that I basically recently got into. But um, she, she, um, she explained that, you know, at times, in essence, you, you can break those rules and, uh, and uh, uh, apply those rules and approach the audition process. and. It usually comes out authentic and pretty good. I like her style because she speaks, when she describes things, she speaks the way I think. You know, it's really like in detail, very detail oriented. She's very meticulous. She paints the picture as clear as possible. And it's like, you can really not make any mistakes. Like if you're going now, uh, if you want a direction to go to a certain area, she'll give you the, you know, where the landmark is before you make the left turn and, you know, where to go. And her, that's, I love that style because um, again, it's, like, it's almost like fool, foolproof, you know, and she 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 does it pretty good. It's, I mean, she gives you visuals and a lot. I mean, I've been in programs and they don't give you these type of visuals that, that, that she provides you in her program. I say the confidence level went up tenfold, you know. But again, the way she describes how to, how to approach the audition process and and being creative in, in, in that part of it. You know, um, is is allowing me to say, okay, you can do this now. It's it's no wrong or right way of doing it, but being that it's allowed now is not a rule that you're not supposed to do. In certain instances, you know, you can't go overboard, of course. But if you have the fundamentals, you know, the lighting, the backdrop, and all that other stuff, there are other things that you can apply to it. So the program allowed me to to to, or it enhanced my confidence level, I should say. I say, go ahead, even if you're a seasoned actor, there are times that, you know, I've seen in other programs where people have their packaging to the point where it's like, you cannot be uh, denied a job, but it doesn't mean that you will get the job. And they're lacking the audition process. And yeah, and that's very important. And it's like now that we're in the Zoom era, I even took a workshop class and, the, and, and a well-known director said that, you know, you have to be a good auditioner and a good actor, you know? It doesn't say that you can't, you're not supposed to be a good actor, but your audition has to be spot on so they can even take a look at you and hold on for about eight seconds that they usually look at tapes. So if, if your packaging is right, but your audition process is not where it needs to be, I say join the program because she definitely, definitely nails it down. She gives you visuals. She even has, what I like a lot is that she has her past audition process of things that she's done. And then she'll show you a clip of the work of that same audition. Like she'll have an audition of maybe to say Blue Bloods. And then she'll show you the episode and you'll see why she was cast in that, in that project. So, um, if you're having a hard time getting that um, that job, but you're not booking jobs, but I think Bookmore TV is uh, is the way to go.